Okay, hello everyone again. Um, this time, this is a bit of a departure from um, waste oil borders and so on. Uh, I have a problem with my washing machine, so uh, this has happened a few times. I don't see anything on YouTube, you know, showing people how to fix it or whatever. But essentially, anyway, what happens is on this washing machine, uh, water is supposed to, you know, come down the door here. Uh, it's supposed to, you know, it has a little jet system or something. And it blows water onto the onto the washing, keeping it clean. But there's a tube that travels from here down the machine and then down into the pump. And the problem is, it gets blocked. Uh, bad design. Great washing machine, but this is uh, certainly a failing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to fix it very easily without having to, uh, you know, pull the washing machine out, take the lid off, pull it apart. Now there is uh, some, you know, messing around with it uh, required, but this is very easy. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So we're going to drain the washing machine. I'm going to pause it. Um, put it to drain. If I can find it, yeah. Okay, drain. And right. So first off, empty the washing machine, and uh, it does it pretty quick. And then it's going to take a minute or so for the for it to release the door. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is a little jet, and it squirts water onto the you know the the, the clothes being washed. Uh, the problem with it is, if it gets blocked or if the tube gets blocked, there's a little I don't know if you can see it. No, I can't get to it. Okay, so there's a kind of a hole in that thing there, and the water sprays out of that onto the onto the clothes being cleaned. The problem is, it gets blocked, and the hose that um you know if you use washing powder and so on, eventually it gets blocked up. Uh, you can call someone out and I'm sure they'll be happy for the call because it's a, it's an easy fix uh, But it's going to cost you money. So here's how you do it yourself um, Now not many tools required to do this uh, There's okay some sort of a pliers long nose pliers whatever you want to call it a spoon And this is just streamer line weed whacker line whatever you want to call it It's just polypropylene or something So here's what we're going to do first off there's a spring, let's see if I can get this in shot, there's a spring around this thing that holds the rubber on. Get your fingers behind it or something solid behind it and pull. Okay, so that leaves me with a, with a big spring. And what that allows me to do now is peel back the rubber. Okay, so, and you can see, yeah, see that? Okay, so that's the hose that comes down to fill that jet or to blow water out that jet. Um, I'm going to see if I can put this somewhere you can see it while I do it. Otherwise I need about 20 hands. So, Okay, so let's try this. Show up. So all I'm going to do is remove the clip. Slide it up the pipe. Next thing to do is to pull on it and get the jet to retract from the, uh, the hose. Okay, so, okay, I, I, I don't know if that's going to show up on camera, but uh, there's some crap in there. Okay, um, and what I'm going to do is get that out and also check out the hose. So, um, what I should really do as well at this point is clean the filter. So, I'm just going to wind it back a bit. Okay, filter. Now to open the filter you need, I don't know, kitchen knife, kitchen spoon, something, not hard. Um, okay, this is a little drain off hose. If I open that I get water out of it I'm sure. Let's see. Yeah, just a drip. Um, okay, and on the actual filter itself, let's see what that's like. Okay, so there's a lot of water here. Now you can put a little tray under it and uh, retract it that way. I've actually got a, a, a vacuum cleaner that uh, you know would pull water without blowing up. So here we go, I'm going to use that just to quicken things up. Now I'm just going to switch it off for a second. 
Okay, so the Aquavac will, you know, obviously suck water. And uh, but as the filter is there, that pipe, that tube that goes up to feed the jet can get blocked. So if I put the uh, the vacuum cleaner in there, pulling out whatever, you know, uh, fluff, fibers, whatever, whatever mess is in there that's been mixed with water, I can uh, use the, the vacuum cleaner for cleaning that out. If you don't have one, you can just kind of put a, you know, a kitchen brush or something in there and give it a good cleaning out. Um, what I don't want to do is have to pull the, the pump out because then the, the front of this machine has to come off it. But uh, as it is, I'm just going to um, give that a quick um, go of the Hoover, the vacuum cleaner, and, uh, and I'm going to show you how I clean the hose as well using it. Very easy. Now, uh, if you connect that up to your domestic ordinary standard vacuum cleaner, it have plenty of suction on it, but they won't like sucking water, so you may not have one if you do this afterwards, you know? So, anyway, this one was designed for... So I'm going to clean this hose out. Okay, I can hear that sucking inside the machine. We'll put that back in and pop that in there. Again, I can hear it sucking in the machine. And if you can see that lump of stuff there, I'm going to try and get that. Okay, the vacuum thing are clean that. You could just get it with a toothpick or something. So now for this hose. And again, I could hear it. I could hear it, um, you know, sucking down deep in the machine. I, I don't think you'd hear it, but that's it sucking through the drum. This pipe is nice and clear, and that's nice and clear now as well. So that's it, kind of fixed. Uh, I just have to put it back together. Very, very quick and easy fix. Again, you don't need a vacuum cleaner that will, you know, suck water, but. Um, if you have one, it certainly makes it a bit quicker. Um, okay, so reverse order now for putting this thing back together. Okay, filter's good. Just push the hose back in out of the way. Filter is now back in. But we have to put this back on. So it literally just pushes it. That's it. Oh, something I wanted to show you as well, right? Okay, let's take this out. Okay, if that pipe is really badly stuck, this is a um, swimmer line, and what we do is just straight down, just fish it in until you can get no more in, you know, giving it a good clean as you go. Uh, there is a lot of stuff in there, and there was one time with this one. Okay, that's as much as I can get in. Pull it back, and in my case, I'm going to hit it with the vacuum cleaner again. Okay, it's good. Okay, the plan now is pop this back on, just push it back on, and then slide the clip down. Okay. Okay, so click the rubber back on. Bit fiddly now. I'll just switch off that vacuum cleaner. Oh. Okay, clip the rubber back on. Can be a bit fiddly, it's just it's not hard. But it's um A little awkward. Nearly there. Okay, so okay, that sits into a little rebate on the door and it has to go back on. 
The, the clip is spring loaded, you can see this one is rusted, but there's still a bit of life left in it yet. So, on this one, it goes on the bottom. But uh, I would have thought it was better on top. Anyway, I'll put it back where I got it. And I'm using a spoon just to lever it on, a bit like a bicycle tire or something like that. It's, it's spring loaded, so it's not hard to do. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, so the rubber sit or the uh, the rubber sits over a little lip, and the spring holds it. The spring loaded kind of clip um, holds it into that lip, and that's it. Um, this guy just pushes back in. Now again, I know this won't be of any any interest or use to the guys. Um, on the waste oil burners, but uh, I couldn't find information about this a while ago, and uh, I just went at it, and, and it, it was easy enough to do. But um, it would have been easier if I could see what I wanted before I, I went at it. So uh, there you go, handy fix, uh, cost zero, no call out charge from service guy, and uh, and it'll it'll work now. So I'm just gonna. Fill this up and I'll show it working in a, in a minute. Okay, just to show that it was a successful kind of um, really all I did was clean the hose, you know, but just to show that it worked. You can see the water spraying down the glass there. And um, let's go back the other way. And that's it, and it won't do that unless uh, the hose is clear. There's two pumps in this particular machine. Uh, this may work with other machines. Just be careful not to go mental with the, uh, you know, with the strimmer line or the weed whacker line um, into it because uh, you can you're going all as far all the way down as far as the pump, and uh, obviously you don't want to damage the pump. Um, I find a vacuum cleaner for cleaning out the filter and uh, and the bottom end of it very very good. You know, it gets the stuff that you uh, may not be able to reach. So, um, but it is possible without it just I have one here so I might as well utilize it but uh, in any case I hope this helped somebody and uh, if you liked it uh, comment like subscribe whatever anyway thanks very much bye